What is up guys, today we're going to open up this MSI gaming laptop and this is model GF628RC so all we need to do is change the hard drive on this and I'm going to show you guys how to open this up and replace the hard drive and also show you where to change the RAM or if you want to install an M.2 SSD RAM card then you can as well so I do believe this voids your warranty if you do this, so please bear in mind before you open this up yourself. So first thing, you want to flip it on its back. And there are quite a lot of screws here that we need to take off. It seems like you can't replace the, the battery either. There's no little clip where you unclip the battery. So the battery looks like it's sealed underneath here so let's go ahead and take off all these screws Right, so that is a total of 14 screws right there. That should be all of them. So once you've done that, you need to get like a prying tool, maybe like a pick or something and we need to get inside sort of like in between here and we need to pretty much just unclip unclip this all but try not to be too forceful and accidentally snap some of the plastic here Just feed it through and do hear um, like a click sound. I would go around it several times. Even a credit card would do. Try not to get your fingers trapped, just like I did just then. Now I feel like there's another screw hidden away here, which is right here. I missed this one. So removing this sticker here, which says factory seal, this will void your warranty. So there is a hidden screw behind that sticker there. I mean, you can probably use a heat gun to get this like sticker off without damaging it. Oh man, they've made this sticker really uh, brittle as well. It's really hard to not ruin the sticker. But it looks like we're gonna have to destroy it. The sticker just flakes off. It just literally flakes off. Alright, so that is 15 screws altogether. Once that last screw is off, this pops right out. And now the back is exposed. So here's the battery. This is the, the battery that doesn't come out normally it's permanently sort of in here internal battery but if you wanted to replace or need to replace the battery then the battery is located here 
and then we can add another RAM slot in here. Here's the hard drive that we're going to take out. There are, well, there is a slot for an M.2 right here, but I'm not too sure which M.2 brands or models will work on this. I presume most uh, M.2 SSDs will work on this machine because it's a relatively uh, new model. Um, that's your Wi-Fi card, so if that breaks, here's your little speakers here at the top if you need to replace them. Uh, you would probably have to take the whole motherboard out though to be able to replace most of this. Um, but in our case, we're just changing this hard drive right here, which is just a standard 2.5 inch hard drive. We can probably add an extra RAM slot, potentially, depending on, I think this might be an 8 gig. Probably won't need to do now then, if it's an 8 gig. So it's already an 8 gig RAM slot there, singular module. So we can leave that be. Now let's take the hard drive out. somehow it doesn't look like it's screwed on in any way it just pops out like that this is a one terabyte Barracuda Pro all right so we got our new hard drive here which isn't as big but it is a 7200 RPM one so it's a faster drive than the other one I did have to take a there was like a little caddy around here and then we should just be able to slot this in here just like so I don't think there was any screws on here I feel like we should put some screws here so this doesn't kind of be loose like this alright so I've now put a screw in here just to secure it in place a bit more um, that's pretty much it That's the hard drive replacement. Now I think it would be better obviously to have an M.2 SSD in the future which would just go in here um, and you can also put another you can exchange this to an SSD a normal 2.5 inch SSD in here. So now all we have to do is put this back in place clamp it all down, make sure you hear the clicks. And now we need to put back all these screws, all 15 of these screws need to go back in now. We're going to cut it here and Turn. All right, so we've put all the screws back in. We are now going to boot this up to make sure everything is okay and not corrupted. Let's fire this up. Let's see if it reads the hard drive. So it should go to BIOS straight away. Let's find out whether it's read the hard drives. Storage information, click enter, and it's recognized, it's recognized the um, Seagate one. 
Looks like there's another slot. Oh, that will be for the M.2. I'm thinking. Everything else is fine. We can save changes and reset. So, there you go, guys. That is how you change or upgrade your hard drive on this MSI GF 62.8 RC gaming laptop. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys out and I will see you again in another one.